violent. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Hey everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shot Vids. Today we're going to feature once again the Rubicon UC3. Now today we're going to compare it against the two titans of the industry, the two best-selling urethane balls, the Purple Hammer and the Pitch Black. Now if you'd like to learn more about the Rubicon UC3 here, take a look at our review right up top. But for today we're going to compare the urethane balls across three brands. So let's start over here to my right with the Storm Pitch Black. Now it has the weakest cover stock, it's also a solid urethane versus the two pearl urethanes we have here. So what does that mean? We're going to see earlier and more predictable ball motion and probably a little bit less overall hook than these two right here. So next over to my left, the purple urethane from Hammer. Now this ball is unique in that it has a two piece construction, so it's just core and cover stock. For that reason it's going to hit a little bit harder and have a little more hitting power. Because of its pearl urethane cover stock, it's going to have a little bit more shape off the end of the pattern versus the pitch black. And in front of me here we have the Roto Grip Rubicon U. C3. Now what makes this ball unique is that it has an asymmetric core in it. So what does that mean for you? It means more flare, bigger hook, and a quicker change of direction down lane. So because we're reviewing many different brands here, myself and Junga are probably going to be out for this one, so we're bringing in Jimu from the bullpen. So for Jimu today, he's going to throw all these balls on two different patterns. On the left lane we have Carbon 42 foot, which is our house shot here, and on the right lane we have 36 foot Pegasus. Now, short patterns are typically good for urethane balls, so we'll see how all these compare to each other. So the way that house shots are designed, they kind of help funnel the balls into the pocket regardless of which part of the lane you want to play. So we're going to see probably a little bit less difference ball to ball on the house shot. Now the 36 foot Pegasus pattern is a 4 to 1 pattern, it is a challenge pattern. So a pattern like that there is less room for error, so the differences in ball reaction are going to be a little bit more amplified, so we're really going to see how these balls compare to one another. That's enough in here, let's send it out to Jimu and let's see how how they roll. G Boost here. Today we got the Rotor Grip UC3 as well as the Purple Hammer from Hammer and then the Storm Pitch Black. We're going to see the battle of the urethanes today. Which one's best? Jungle is behind the camera today. So please pray for all of us. We're gonna try and make this quick. We are bowling on a house shot first and then we'll move on to 36 foot Pegasus. These urethanes react on the house shot. Usually not best for house shots, but we'll see. I really like pitch black. It's been a good ball for me for a long time. The urethane I've used the most out of anything. It's really smooth, early rolling, and doesn't hook that much. Next up, purple hammer. If you haven't seen our review for this one, please check it out over here where we compared it to the Pitch Black. This one I found in my last review took a little bit more and be a bit sharper down lane. So we'll try the same line over here and see how it does. Yeah, so you can see where the Pitch Black kind of did a light swisher. The Purple Hammer snapped a bit harder in the back end and got more of a flush strike. So usually I see the purple hammer hooking about two boards more than the pitch black. It's really good from when the pitch black is hooking too early then I need something to snap a bit harder in the back end. Let's try out the Roto Grip Rubicon UC3. Now what's special about this ball as you saw in Jungle's review, it has an ASIM core and pearl cover stock, but it's urethane. So we'll do the same thing, same line, see how it compares. Oh my goodness. Leaked it a bit outside, but it snapped really hard in the back end there. So we're gonna try to hit a proper line, the same one as the last one, see if it can hold itself, because from that violent reaction, I don't know. <laughs> you good, John? <laughs> Okay, moral of the story, throw this ball, you'll get messengers. So as you can see, I stood in the same spot for all three balls, through the same line relatively, and they all struck. So the way house shots are designed, 
They're kind of tailored so no matter what ball you throw, it's gonna funnel towards the pocket. You can play different parts of the lane and it usually ends up in the same spot. So that's why you're not seeing that much difference between the urethanes here. However, we'll keep going, play a bit all over the lane and see which urethane is best for your house shot. So we're gonna try two boards left here. In the middle of the house shot, there's a lot more oil. So we're gonna try to make sure we get it out right so it has time to hook. Just what I expected. It was a really good shot, felt good off the hand, but as you can see, the pitch black, it's made to roll early and be flat off the spot. So that's why it didn't really hook down late. We're gonna try the purple hammer, see if that works from there. Purple hammer, same line. Oh yeah, purple hammer, it's a really good ball. You can see why, people love it. I personally like it because it is very smooth and controllable like the pitch black, but it hooks a bit more. So for those oil patterns that are a bit closer to medium length, like 40, I can still use it. So you saw purple, able to make it back from there, pitch black, not so much. Let's see what UC3 does. Wow, violent, violent off the back end. I think because of the pearl cover stock paired with the ASIM core, it's finishing way harder than the other two bowling balls. And I really like seeing that. It definitely gives me a different option for a urethane look. I've thrown quite a few urethane bowling balls in the past. Fever pitch, karma urethane, pitch purple, Jung's favorite. Honestly, this ball is looking a lot closer to reactive as opposed to a urethane ball. However, it's not a reactive ball where it's hooking too hard off the spot, but it's still manageable and controllable. Let's move another two left on this house shot with the UC3. I love the back end with this ball. Yeah, this is looking pretty good on a house shot. It's smooth, it's controllable like a urethane, but it gives you that back end reaction because of its pearlized cover and the ace and core. I really like it. Now, the Purple Hammer also has that Pearl cover stock, but it's the core that's really making the difference. The A-SIM versus the SIM, which is in here. We're gonna go same line as that last strike from the UC3. Ooh, flat 10, interesting. Threw that ball pretty much the same as the UC3, but as you can see, because of the flat 10, it means it wasn't driving as hard in the back end. So as you can see, purple is able to cover the same amount of boards, but the UC3 has a greater change of direction in the back end. So we move two more boards with this UC3, test its limits. We are standing at 23. For your thing, this is pretty deep. Okay, getting a bit light, a bit flat, but the ball still is able to come back to the pocket. Even though it wasn't a flush strike, it still struck. So that was about the limit for the UC3. We're gonna try the purple hammer. The last shot, two boards right of this, was flat 10. We'll see how this one does. That ball came in light, didn't even strike, left a 2-4. Four. Left to two, four. We can start to see a little bit of a difference, but to show how great their differences are, let's move over to our 36 foot Pegasus challenge shot. Okay, team, question time with Jimu. Urethane is fun. I like using it on short, but here today we threw it on a house shot. And my question for you is, do you use urethane on house shots? I personally don't. I like using more symmetrical solid balls because it gives me a bit more room on the house shot to miss than the urethane bowling balls, but you let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Thanks, Jungle. Welcome back. We are on 36 foot Pegasus. It's a challenge shot, so much different from our house shot. I'm expecting that we'll see a greater difference between the reactions of these bowling balls now that we are on a harder shot. This is short, which is basically what urethane's built for. We're gonna go with pitch black. We're gonna stand on 15, throw pitch black, old trusty pitch black, and try to get a strike. Ooh. It was smooth, got to the pocket, very nice and round shape. I don't mind that, but it could definitely be better and not leave me a 710. All right, we're gonna throw that again, move one right, give this ball some justice. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> pitch black's done for the day. Just kidding. But pitch black, smooth, it's controllable. We know what it does. Let's move over to purple. Moving on to purple. Fun fact, shot 300 with purple this past league season. Really like it. We're gonna throw in that same spot as that last shot is pitch black. Hopefully this one strikes. Much better shot. Got it a bit further out than the pitch black. And as you can see, it's nice, it's smooth. Came back around the corner and got a flush strike. One of the things I love about Purple Hammer, it's very smooth. It's good for almost every short pattern, including some of the medium stuff. Now, what you all been waiting for, UC3 on the short pattern. Same line as those last two. Let's see if it's able to hold its line. It's 36, so it's pretty short. Nine pin. So as you can see, similar to what we were seeing from the house shot, it hooks a little bit more, but here instead of getting a light pocket 710 or a flush strike, it drove past the nine pin, went high, so it's hooking a little bit more. Let's move three boards left. Same release, same area. Break point should be around five. We'll try to get it around there. I really like that. It's kicking a little bit harder than the pitch black and the purple hammer. Definitely see myself using this a bit later if those other two are rolling too early, leaving flat tens. And for all you lefties out there like Barks, flat sevens and stuff. Let's go another three left. We'll throw it a bit slower too. Give the ball time to come back. Yep, missed inside a little bit, but that's okay. The ball still has that kick down lane. Didn't get the flushest strike, but it was still able to recover. Purple hammer, same line. Very curious to see what this one does. It's been hooking a little bit less than the UC3, but let's see. So with that last shot, I felt like I threw it pretty good. Also pretty slow, so I thought I had time to come back. However, I think I'm pushing more and more oil down as your thing does. And instead of the ball diving in the back end, it's kind of hooking too late and not enough lane for it to come back and strike. So I think it's time to move back right and try piping it a bit more. Pitch black is usually really good from playing from the right side, far outside. So we are gonna move five off of our original line to the right and flatten the hand a little bit. Pitch black, really early hooking. So a lot of hook in the front and then kind of dies in the back end. Went right back to the nine pin. So we're gonna try purple. See how that one looks on the same line. Seven ten again, this time with the purple hammer. I thought it was a pretty good ball. Pretty good ball, not the best result, but we'll try moving on to the UC3, same line. Hopefully this one will kick out the seven and the 10. UC3, same line. Ooh, I like that a lot. Super straight, I'm pretty sure I hit the first arrow. Not quite sure, we'll figure that out after. But it was very strong. It held its line though, which I really like. And in the back end, as soon as it saw the friction, it dove and struck. One more with this UC3, and we'll send it back to the shop. Let's go back. I'm back talking about all three urethanes, the pitch black, UC3, and purple hammer. So we threw it on two patterns today. The first one was a house shot. And as Barker said earlier, house shots allow the balls to funnel towards the pocket a bit easier. So we didn't see too much of a difference, but we did see a little. Starting with the pitch black, pitch black has always been my smoothest, my earliest, and the one that gives me a very, very consistent reaction. It doesn't hook too much down lane. It's usually a bit flatter off the spot, and we saw that today. Now moving off of the pitch black, we see the purple hammer. Purple hammer gives me a bit more reaction down lane. It's a bit stronger, but it still gives that smooth reaction. Probably about one to two boards more hook than the pitch black. And finally, today we got to test out the UC3. Now the UC3 gave me one to two boards more hook than the purple hammer. 
one to two boards more on this one and about three to four on this one. This gave me a nice pop down lane. It gave me some great messengers at the start and as I moved more inside the pattern, it gave me the same snap in the back end and drove through the pins. When these two were looking a bit flat or a bit light, this ball continued to make it back to the pocket when the other two fell a bit short. And the reason for that is because of the bigger core, the ASIM core, the Rondor core from the Rubicon line. It's a bigger engine and comparing it to the symmetrical cores in these two balls and it gave me much more back end motion. Now moving over to Pegasus, 36 feet. This is a challenge pattern with a lower ratio, so a bit more difficult than the house shot. Here we were able to see the reaction differences between the urethanes a bit more. Similar to the house shot, pitch black, smooth, controllable, early, and not that much hook. And then moving off that, we threw the purple hammer on the same line. It picked up like we expect out of a urethane, but continued a little bit more than the pitch black. And that's why I love the purple so much. For my style, I throw it quite hard, and this ball allows me to throw it as hard as I want and still able to round the corner in the back end. And what we found today, the UC3 is just a little bit more than that. As we saw, with this bowling ball, I'm able to move a little bit more into the pattern and swing it a bit more and trust that it will come back to the pocket. Where these two balls were hitting flat, this ball was able to round the corner and still snap hard into the pocket. With that being said, the pitch black and the purple hammer are probably going to be better for you if you're playing more of a straight line, more direct, and if you want to move a little bit more into the pattern, swing your angles a little bit, I think the UC3 will come in handy. Final thoughts, I believe that urethane is essential for a two-handed bowler like myself, but also for the more advanced league bowler and tournament bowler. Urethane is beneficial to me because it allows me to play straighter on the shorter and medium patterns. When trying to use reactive bowling balls, I'm gonna have to try to swing the entire lane, not giving me a lot of missed room, and usually leaving me with some ugly splits. Urethane is controllable, it's predictable, and doesn't get me into a lot of trouble. If you're like me, and you're a two-hander or you have a lot of revs, I suggest you get at least one urethane bowling ball, if not a mix of many. So two more quick points. I believe this ball could also be good for people with slower ball speeds on those house shots so the ball doesn't actually overreact. Because this is urethane, it's gonna read a little bit earlier and not gonna be as sharp down lane, so it's easy to control. And second point, if you're a bit skeptical about urethane and what it can actually do, maybe try this bowling ball. I believe this ball bridges the gap between reactive bowling balls and more traditional urethanes. So therefore, it's not as early and flat as urethane, but also not quite as sharp as reactive. Thank you for watching JR Pro Shop Vids. Make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below. Do you throw urethane on house shots? Me personally, I don't, but you let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.